Hi everyone. Let's talk about printing uh, spot colors and how to create um, spot color separations. Now uh, in the commercial setting you'll have um, some software and a separate process for creating uh, imposition files or separated film or plates for commercial printing. Um, but in the situation where perhaps you're making uh, screen printing film or maybe you're doing vinyl cutting or something else like that, you can actually do the separations directly from Illustrator that you need um, to print those things out. And in this case, we're going to look at what it would be to print film for screen printing. So the problem we'd run into is we need to be able to print um, each of these colors separately so that we can make the appropriate screen and piece of film to set up our, our screen press. Um, well, of course, the artwork is all combined, all the colors together. So it would be really difficult to try to use this full color artwork to make the necessary uh, screen film. So we're going to let Illustrator do it for us. So in this case, what we do is we go up to the file menu and we're going to use the print dialog box and again this artwork is already converted in spot color so that's why this will work if I go to the print dialog box under the file menu uh, ignore that little warning and now I'm here set up in the print dialog box uh, on the left I have a little preview of the layout file um, up here is where we want to start. Up at the top, what you're going to do is you're going to check and make sure that the printer says Adobe Postscript file. So instead of actually sending to a printer, we're creating a Postscript file. So you want to make sure that you set that. And we can pretty much ignore the, the uh, PPD. Next you'll notice that um, my print has marks and bleeds on it. This would be required for registration. So those things can be set on the next tab, which is marks and bleeds. And you can select registration marks, trim marks, all the printer marks you might need. I'm just going to leave it on uh, registration marks. Then the next tab I want to check is output. So under output, it's probably going to say on yours, it's going to say composite. Composite is normal printing. That means all the colors are combined together and the printer prints out your full color print. But for us, we're going to use Illustrator to create separations. And if you look down at the dialog box, it's going to show you a list of all the potential colors available inside that file. And for us, because this artwork has six identified spot colors, it lists all of those spot colors here. Again, those were assigned previously. And in my situation, it did not discover any process or print colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, or black, so those are left blank. And then these little printer icons here next to these mean that those are going to print. So what I do now is that I've got all that set up, I click Save and it's going to ask me where to put it so I'll just go ahead and throw it to my desktop and I'm going to call this Salsa. Um, now I do not want to remove that dot PS. That dot PS stands for Postscript. This is a printer language file and we want to leave that alone. And I'm just sending it to the desktop so I know where to find it. Okay, click Save. And that part of the process is finished. Next what I'll do is I have to use Adobe Acrobat for this next part. So what I'm going to do is click on my Adobe Acrobat program, open that up, and I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to open the Postscript file I just created. So if I look on my desktop, um, see down here where it says show Adobe PDF files? I need to change that to say all files and I'm going to click salsa.ps click open and it's going to ask me do you really want to convert this I'm going to say of course I do I'm in charge click yes 
and now it's processing that PostScript file and converting it into a PDF so that we can see it and also so we can print it. Now we're doing this extra step because this isn't being done by the printer. It's being done virtually in our software. And what I wanted was to create these separations inside of the computer as opposed to trying to send this to a commercial printer. So if I zoom out here, you'll see that the resulting file is one by one, each Pantone color, six colors up here at the top it says, for those printer colors that were identified uh, in my file. Now you may be wondering, well, it took that full color artwork and it generated black and white art. Why did it do that? Well, that's what's required in traditional separations. When you make film separations, it's like creating a film negative. And it's converting your color to black, white, and gray, uh, actually. And that is used to then either expose a printing plate or expose, in our scenario, um, screen printing film on, uh, on screens. So what I could do now is take that PDF file and I could print it on transparency film and then run over to my light table and expose my screens. All right, so that's how you can take your artwork and convert it manually into separated film.